My name is Kenny, and this is my story. I've been coming to Vital Point Church for about a year now, and I heard about Vital Point through my friend Jess. She was a part of the Exeter launch, and she asked me to be a part of it. Um, and at the time, I was heavily involved with my church in Clinton, so I didn't really think anything of it. Um, but I ended up coming anyway. <laughs> my experience at Vital Point, the first service that I went to, I got just the sense of community that was so beautiful and so wonderful. No one was overlooked. Like we walked in there and we were instantly greeted. People were super warm and welcoming, super kind, offered um, for me to sit with them. Yeah. <laughs> Loved it, it was great. When I was younger, my understanding of God was from like a Catholic school background. I grew up in a relative, like a non-Christian home. Um, so my understanding of God was just going to school, um, praying before we ate. I never really questioned his existence or anything like that or his relevance in my life. I just did what I was told at school because that's what you did. The idea of a Christian God didn't make sense to me. One of my friends invited me to go to her youth group. And when I went, I went for a few weeks and I really enjoyed the, the fun aspect of it and like hanging out with everybody. I needed volunteer hours to graduate and growing up in a small town there's not a lot of options to volunteer so my options were volunteering at the nursing home that my mom worked at or the church and like a typical teenager I didn't want to hang out with mom at the time so then I was like okay I'll go to the church and the youth pastor at the time super crafty he told me that if I went on this youth retreat that he'd sign off for all of my hours. And I was like, okay, like one day for 40 hours, you betcha. Um, but he knew what he was doing. And we went to this retreat and I was kind of like not paying attention. There was a speaker. I remember looking up and everyone who we went with, they were walking up towards the front and I didn't want to be the only one left behind. So I followed them up. And then I'm looking around, everyone has their hands raised. So then I was like, well, I guess I better raise my hands. And I just remember the woman who was preaching, she said, you just accepted Christ into your heart. And I immediately was like, no, I did not. And I spun around to leave. But as I turned around, it was like that white light again. And for a lack of a better term, like God blessed me with a vision. And it was, I saw, those near-death experiences that people talk about, the light at the end of the tunnel, like I saw the light and it was going through the tunnel, but it was made clear in my heart that the tunnel was my veins and the light was being embedded into me. And at the time I didn't fully understand, but now, you know, deeper in my faith, I, I know that that was me accepting Christ into my heart and the Holy Spirit being embedded into me. And the light at the end of the tunnel is like, it's a, a near-death experience, you die, but that day I was born again. I was, I was traveling a lot and I went to a Hillsong church and I remember walking in and I was immediately greeted by this woman and she just beelined it to me and she placed her hands on my shoulders and she said, I know you're angry with God right now, but you need to know you're exactly where you're supposed to be. And I just, I felt the presence of the Holy Spirit just overwhelm me. In that moment, I started living fully for Christ and was like, okay, I get it. You want me to live for you. And then I Googled churches near me, found C3, went to Bible college, and then just have been pursuing him ever since. A big learning for me right now would be to just trust in Him and to press in more and to just put Him above everything else and to not try and please the world but to focus on Him 
over everything and it will all come to peace. It will all plan out, pan out the way it's exactly supposed to be because you're putting him first and he is for you. Um, and if he is for you, who can be against you?